Okay, so I've been out here. It's uh, ridiculously cold. I think it's below zero with the wind chill. And uh, the heater that I bought, uh, well, it's kind of worthless. And I'll probably do a different video on that. But this one's just a real short one. I, I promise to keep it short and I will. Um, essentially, I had to take off. Uh, there's like a piece to the fairing that covers up the spark plug holes. And the idea was. Um, uh, to take the spark plugs out and fill the cylinders with, you know, spray some WD-40 in the cylinders. Get rid of any moisture um, before I try and turn it over. Uh, also, if there's any, you know, surface rust or flash rusting, you know, then maybe it would take care of that. The problem is, um, and let's see here are the, uh, the side panels I had to take off. Uh, they're actually in pretty good shape despite what they look like. Um... So, uh, so I've done that, uh, things sat for 10 years. I don't want to turn that motor over without doing something with the cylinders, right? Um, so anyway, I am ridiculously cold right now, so I am going to stop this and the next scene will be me in the house, uh, as soon as I warm up a little bit. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be right back. Okay. So... <clears throat> I started looking at the plugs, so they look pretty good. They running, maybe running a little lean, but they are burning about what they should burn, about the way they should burn. So I'm very stoked about that until I get to this one. I don't know if you can see just how mangled up that is. So now I've got to pull the head and see what the heck's going on. What I'm hoping is, because they were trying to get it running before they, uh, before we bought it, and what I'm hoping is somebody just dropped this and decided to put it back in the cylinder. I haven't tried to turn it over now, and I'm not going to because this is an interference fit motor, which means that the timing's off just a little bit you'll slam the valves into the piston top so I have to make sure that's not what happened here it could be and if the pistons fine you know putting new valves on the heads is not a big deal but if I have to replace the piston that's that might just make me part this thing out and be done with it but we'll see